Man, I don't know about you, but I'm excited and hyped as hell for Tales of the Jedi, especially what we saw from the trailer. And the ending left us really enigmatic because we have seen now an Inquisitor never seen before, or have we? Buckle up, folks, because we're going to talk in this video about the Inquisitor that appeared in the Tales of the Jedi trailer. And if you haven't read the Ahsoka novel, then of course you might not be all that familiar of what is happening in that scene and who that Inquisitor actually is that is going to fight Ahsoka Tano. You see, by now, we have seen Ahsoka's journey pretty much, and that's why the Ahsoka series is going to be very pivotal, because that's going to be entirely new material that pertains to the character of Ahsoka Tano. From her becoming Padawan to Anakin Skywalker, to her crescendo in Star Wars Rebels, we can only now add to that. The novels also told us what happened in between after Order 66. Now, Tales of the Jedi is going to pretty much tackle everything. We saw Ahsoka as a baby. We're going to see Ahsoka during the Republic days as well, during the Clone Wars era. And what it seems, the last episode of Ahsoka will be her after Order 66 facing off against this mysterious Inquisitor that looks very much new, although he is not. Now, this Inquisitor has not appeared in any of the TV shows, or digitally for that matter, but he has been introduced a while ago in the comics. If you want to get technical, he was first introduced in the Ahsoka novel, but where we saw him with our eyes first is during the Darth Vader comic series, the 2017 comic series, first seen in issue number 6 and and so on. Although in the comics, as you will see very shortly, he has a very different look. You could actually see his face. In the trailer, he was all masked up, which seems like a skull in between an animal skull and the doctor mask that come from the dark ages. It's in between there, I think, with a full-on cape and so on, but we can see the Empire emblem as well. However, in comparing with the comics, I mean, we can actually see his face, his face tattoos, what seem like tattoos, and his aesthetic is pretty much completely different. I'm making another video a separate video talking about this scene and what, what is going to happen in it according to the Ahsoka novel and what they possibly could retcon because, you know, as Dave Filoni, he's gonna retcon something from the novels or comics. But before I do that, I wanted to show the sixth brother in his weakest point during Darth Vader's training. What you might not know, ladies and gentlemen, is that both the sixth brother and Ahsoka have been trained by essentially the same person. One was trained by Anakin Skywalker, and the other was trained by Darth Vader. Two different styles by the same person. That's, I think, what Dave Filoni will focus in. It will essentially be Filoni showcasing a battle between Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader, with Ahsoka and the Sixth Brother. It's going to be very interesting. And let's now talk about the first time the Sixth Brother, the Inquisitor, shown in Tales of the Jedi, how Darth Vader brutally tortured him. Sidious's Dark Secret Lair. This was a project of Sidious that had been long planned. Waiting at the gate were royal guards. Inside, still, it was littered with royal guards. But down at the base, Inquisitors were fighting and sparring amongst each other. They once belonged to the light side, but now they belong to the Dark Lords of the Sith. As the Grand Inquisitor jumped down to the small Inquisitors, Sidious explained that these Inquisitors will help with the hunt of the Jedi. The Grand Inquisitor immediately told them to form up. Their masters, in plural, are here. Once he heard this, the eighth brother was befuddled. Masters? They only have one master. That master was the emperor and no one else. Foolishly, in a way, not knowing when to shut up. He didn't recognize who Darth Vader really was, the second in command. Vader and the Inquisitors did not get off to a good start. Not with the Grand Inquisitor and not with these puny little inquisitors that Vader could crush with one swift stroke. He didn't even speak to Sidious for a second. He realized what Sidious was up to. He sent him to attack the Grand Inquisitor, but if the Grand Inquisitor had beaten Vader, would he now be at his side? Sidious simply laughed as he always did, 
Knowing that Vader was not one to question the past, they should always look to the future. The question was, was there any chance that the Grand Inquisitor could have defeated him? The answer Vader gave was simply no. Precisely, said Sidious, and that's why, in the end, the Inquisitorius belong to Darth Vader. He will be the one to teach these young, naive Darksiders what it truly means to serve the Sith and to serve the Empire. Vader, naturally, was ready to begin immediately. The eighth brother that didn't recognize Darth Vader, didn't even acknowledge him as his master, would soon learn who Darth Vader really was. Vader was loathed by many in the Empire, but it soon became time for him to become a master of sorts, teaching young Inquisitors the ways of the Sith and the way to hunt Jedi efficiently. But not everybody was a fan. The Inquisitors weren't big fans of Vader, especially the Grand Inquisitor. He loathed Vader, but couldn't do anything about it. So why was this? Why did they hate him so much? Well, issue number 7 of the Darth Vader comic series tells us why. The Dark Lord of the Sith literally tortured the Inquisitors in what he explained was a good and valid reason. You have to listen to his reasoning and tell me what you think down in the comments. Vader felt slighted from the moment Sidious introduced him to the Inquisitorius. One of them made a comment that they only have one master, the Emperor, and Vader heard this. Here's the main problem though. These little Inquisitors were once Jedi Knights, presumably maybe even Padawans. Because of that, Sidious now doubted that these Inquisitors in this early stage were capable of going up against a Jedi survivor and let alone a Jedi Master. They were not ruthless enough. Well, that's why Vader was here. In fact, Vader was anxious to start right now. He wanted to have these many students all for himself and teach them a valuable lesson from a Sith Lord. The seventh comic opens up with a chopped off hand as the sixth brother looks on in submission. It was Vader who did that to him. He had slaughtered the Inquisitor with the Grand Inquisitor protesting too, but Vader just didn't care. He knew what he was doing. This will make them feel loss. He will never forget about this loss. None of them will, as now they show us that Vader had tortured every single Inquisitor close to death. Vader would stop just before they died in order to teach them a lesson. This is Vader's teaching method. He was harsh and without mercy. He explained to the naive Grand Inquisitor that Palpatine created this group of acolytes to hunt down and find Jedi who escaped after Order 66. But his people were nowhere close to being ready. Again, the Grand Inquisitor protested. This isn't fair, the Inquisitors are former Jedi. And that was their problem, according to Vader. They fight like a Jedi. They automatically go to the defensive and attack only when necessary. This is soft tactics. This foolish notion has infected all of the Inquisitors' mind. Until they learn how to annihilate their opponent like the Sith, they will never learn how to defeat a Jedi. And for Vader, that meant torturing them until they showed their inner darkness. That was the Sith way. The way Darth Vader adopted his teaching techniques was similar to Darth Sidious's. It is apparent that Palpatine gave a lot of influence to Darth Vader when it came time for him to teach the ways of the Sith and the brutal ways of survival. This is the foundation of which the Sith were formed. If we want to go back and use the primary example of how Darth Vader taught the Inquisitors, it's very similar to how Palpatine was a master to Darth Maul. Sidious and Dooku could see eye to eye, as Dooku was already a formidable force user whether it be Jedi or Sith by his time, but Maul was taught from upbringing by Sidious. He was brutally tortured and that left the young Zabrak with inner and outer scars. He was a dog that was waiting to be unleashed. Maul hated everybody and everything but learned to tame that anger. In my mind, this is what Vader ultimately thought would be the best way to approach this, since the Inquisitor would go up against 
formidable Jedi survivors and probably couldn't fare off against these skilled duelists. It was the only way to prep these young Inquisitors and shape them up into form. This was Darth Vader's way. But of course I would love to know what you guys think about his teaching methods. And who was he inspired by the most? Talk to me down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for dailies. Now you have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Until then.